Um, a business model canvas is basically um, a visual representation of your your business operations. So we're starting from um, your value proposition to your customers to your suppliers to your cost to your revenue, and we'll be looking at these building blocks. It's it's basically like a virtual representation of your business plan, like a simpler version of your business plan. Um, and it's a document that needs to be updated at least quarterly because um, as an entrepreneur, I found out that a lot of things are going to change along the way. Um, we didn't expect going into 2020 that we were going to experience anything like COVID-19 or there was going to be a border closure or there was going to be a lockdown. Now, businesses are trying are, are beginning to like rethink their entire business operations or rethinking everything. So it's very important that now you can't work with the same um, plan that you had last year or the plans that you made in December 2019 for the year 2020. This is a whole different year. You have to we strategize, you have to rethink, you have to work on your business model canvas. So this is going to be a really, really um, practical class. So I, I have to get into it so I can take your questions. Um, this is basically how a business model canvas looks like. We're going to start out with the value proposition. The value proposition, we're going to start out with value proposition. Um, let me just go to the next slide. I have also have something like that. The value proposition basically just asks, what do you do? It's your, this is where you talk about your unique selling point. What is it that you're selling to the customer? Why are you existing? What is your why? What is your why? What is in the heart of your business? What, why are you in existence? What is the value that you're bringing to the customer? What is that new innovation? What is that thing that you're going to offer to the customer to make them part of their money? This is where you put it. And the next thing we look at is your customer, your customer segment. So after thinking about the customer and what um, the customer, the unique selling point you're offering to your customer, the next thing we're going to look at is who do you help? Who are you targeting? Are these are you targeting like old people? Are you targeting young men, women, 45 year olds? Who are they? It's very important that if you know what you're offering. It's also important to know who you're offering it to, right? And then the next sec the next um, part of the building block is the distribution channel of your customer. How are you going to reach this customer? Where are you going to reach them? Are they online? Are they offline? Are you going to meet them on both places? How are you going to do it? Are you going to go through? Are you going to have like uh, a distributor network? Is it, are you going to have like affiliate marketers? They're like so many channels, distribution ch channels now that you can leverage on right now for to reach your customers. And this th this is where you put it in your um, business model canvas. Your customer relationship is the fourth building block. And it basically just talks about the relationship that you have with your customer, how you plan to maintain it. So basically here we can talk about um, promos, we can talk about incentives, we can talk about referral programs where customers get rewarded for referring other customers. We can talk about um, having like an online channel that customers can relate to you. Now banks are opening up like apps, that, um, both apps that you can chat with and just basically perform like banking transactions, chatting in an app on WhatsApp. So these are, this is where those ideas, those brilliant ideas you have for keeping your customers after you get them. So it's very important that you think through this process. Think about something else that maybe your competition is doing. Think about what, what other things in your industry are doing to keep their customers and then innovate on that. So we've talked about the value proposition, what you're offering the customer. We've talked about the customer segment you are um, serving. We also talked about how you're going to reach this particular customer segment. And now when you've gotten these customers, how are you going to keep them, right? And here we have, um, at the back, okay. Um, so then, we have the revenue stream, like every business, except if you are an NGO, you, you, you have to, if you're a for-profit business, you have to think about how you're going to make money. 
how much will you make, which is your revenue stream. This is where you put it, all your revenue stream. And if you, if you look at the right side, the right side is really talking about how, how you're going to make money. Everything on this side of the block is going to tell you how, how you're going to make money. And this, which is why the revenue stream is under it. And what, uh, we're going to go to the left side. Here, we're going to talk about the key partners. Who are, the, who are the people that are going to be important in helping you achieve this vision? I remember one time I had a meeting with an investor, and one of the things he was really worried about, about investing in my business, was about suppliers. Like he kept saying that if, um, the, if, there's, a, if there's an issue with the import of leather in Nigeria, how is that going to affect production? How is that going to affect uh, my money when I invest in your business. So it's very important that I, when I'm building my, when, I, when building my business model canvas, very important that I, I put in my key suppliers here, my key partners, are they your like um, uh, sponsor organizations, if you're a social enterprise or if for profit that's working with um, sponsor organizations, like we have received grants from Ford Foundation and a couple of other organizations. So most times we put them as our key partners here because they continue to provide us with like mentorship and support in, in any way. So every year, every time we do our business model canvas, we put in Plus Foundation, CBW, and all the um, companies that are very instrumental to our growth. We also put in suppliers that we work with. Like right now, we supply um, machines and raw materials to uh, to um, shoemakers in different parts of Nigeria. And in order to make this happen, we're working with a lot of um, 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 wholesalers and um, companies in Europe that manufacture those machines, and many of them ha are going to be highlighted in our key partners. How um, the key activity is, is basically how do you do it? So if, for instance, you are a manufacturing, co you are a company like us that do training, you do manufacturing, this is what we're going to put this is what we're going to put in in the block the day-to-day -day production the um the the training services that we're offering the market because our, our business um, always implies us going into the market sourcing for materials making the shoes doing deliveries logistics everything even finance everything your bookkeeping should be under your key activities uh, even recruitment if you are an online service um, company, you know, pitching to clients, going for meetings, marketing, business development, all of this should be highlighted in your key activities. Um, what do you need? Your key resources are basically the things that you need, those, those items or those stuff that you need to make sure that your business happens. So these are your key resources. Like for an Uber, most of their key resources are gonna be like drivers, they need drivers and so they're going to put drivers here they're going to put admin we need people in the back end that are controlling and making sure that um the drivers are well behaved they need it guys and etc for us we need like shoe makers for the production team we need the shoe trainers we need an accountant to keep our books we need a uh, marketing for posting the pictures and stuff. So these are your key resources. Most times they fall into like your 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 staff. So these are the key resources that you need. Your also key resources are also um, your your property. Like if you have land, if you have an office, if you have like um, cars, you will need to put them here. These are the key resources that you need to make sure that the business runs. And under it we have what we have we have what we call the cost structure. So you notice that Everything here is going to, everything on the left side of the business model canvas is, is really going to make you spend money. So, which is why we have the cost on there. So, cost is divided into fixed cost and variable cost. So, you should, you should be able to highlight the cost under this and divide it into fixed and variable cost. So, I'm going to go on to say that the right side of the business model canvas tells you about the desirability of your business. So if you know the value proposition that you're offering the customer and the co and, and the customer segment you're offering, the channels in which you reach them, it, talk, it just really shows how desirable your business is at a glance. Then the left side talks about the feasibility of your business. If you don't have enough key suppliers, 
for your product um, for to in order to produce your product if you don't have enough key suppliers or there's an issue with your key resources and you can't meet up with the cost of the business the business isn't visible at all now the viability of a business simply means is this business going to be profitable in the long run are you going to make money is this a viable business so looking at the business model canvas this is basically the summary of why we are doing what we're doing we want to see the desirability if customers are going to jump on this if we have enough people in the customer segment to serve what uh, what we're offering the customer and we want to see the feasibility is it easy to run this business there's some business ideas that are simply very hard to run in nigeria and there's viability to, to just determine if this business is profitable is it worth it going into it or should we just think about or look into another business idea now yeah. this please could you go back to the last slide let me just add something to before you okay. go on, example right so this for, one? yes this so from what you said you said that desirability is what um what shows you that what would make someone love your business the feasibility is basically all the things that it would take to make it possible so you want to be the biggest whatever it should be stated on the desirability part and all the people you're going to be servicing and how you service and um what it is you service them with then what it would take to make that possible is on the left side right so the activity yeah. that you need to do everything is on the left side which is this feasibility part and then the viability if it's worth the trouble like what it will cost you financially and how you make money right so um uh -huh. yes okay so basically after you're done with this this plat this uh, canvas will help you think about every area of your business very succinctly right yes okay thank you please just to the next slide thank you okay <laughs> So this is just um, an example of the business model canvas we did in, in December 2018. I remember working on this business model canvas. And so I'm, I'm just going to start with the value proposition we thought about then. We wanted to offer a formalized and standardized training program. Um, we also wanted to offer short courses, entire food term and um, value chain, affordable courses. Like it would, if you think about all the things that we talked about here, we're thinking about our unique selling points actually. And this is where you highlight these things. Um, most of our customer segments were, that we had in mind were graduates, unemployed youths, NYSC, as you can see their age range. We even highlighted their gender, we highlighted the location we wanted to offer Abia State and Lagos State, right? And then the channels we wanted to get them on was online, Facebook, Instagram. I would, we're basically doing all of this and offline events, churches, schools, association, radio, flyers, etc. Radio is very big here in Abasso, which is why we, why we highlighted flyers and offline marketing is very important if you're in the eastern part of Nigeria. So the customer relationship was how we wanted to keep our customers engaged, how we wanted to keep them coming back, how we wanted to give back to them. So what about an online forum or group or WhatsApp or Facebook? We currently have a Facebook group, yes. Uh, affiliate program, we haven't started that yet. <laughs> Post training support, yes, we do this. And it just basically gives you an idea of our thought process in at, at when we were looking through our business model kind of for 2018. Um, our revenue stream at that time, sorry, for this, uh, was tuition fee, FM Hub is basically our hub and our hub um, our hub here in Aba. B2, B2B and B2C production and raw material sales. And this sums up the right side of our business model canvas. But at a glance, you could see that oh, we had we had a lot of value proposition we wanted to offer the customer. We already had our customers figured out, we already knew where we were going to find them, we already knew how we were going to keep them, and we already knew how we were going to make money, right? Now, our key partners as of 2018 were Ford Foundation. We were, we were, going, we were um, going through an accelerator program at IG Hub then. TBWA was also going um, doing the Proudly Made in Aba movement. We talked about logistics providers, raw material providers, payment providers, contract facilitators for our school, um, et cetera. This, this, this list can be updated as much as possible. Um, 
key activities were marketing and branding. You know, I don't want to read through the slide, but you can just look at it and see some of the key activities that we knew that we were going to be involved with. And, um, and our key resources were this and our structure were this. Let me just look at the questions and let me, let me see the question and, okay. Inkali is asking, is this clear? Can you implement this in your business today? Deborah, please, you can ask your question and I'll answer. How can one break this, break this down in simple terms? Hmm. This is looking like French. Okay, I don't know if you start. <laughs> this is, <laughs> I don't know if you started from the beginning, but the, the thing is, I will share the slide. I'm willing to share the slide with you later on. I will share it in Kali and they'll be able to share it. But this is, um, there, there, there are templates you can work with. There are templates online that so you can I, work I, with. I think, uh, I think we should use Deborah's business as a very small case study, right? Um, um, how you can actually sit down and plan with this. Yes, because we realized from some of our feedback that the theory of it is nice, but people are still struggling with their, with their actual businesses, right? So please, Deborah, it's a small business you run, which is great. Every huge business started as a small business. Well, not everyone, but most ones, right? So just tell us, what do you do? Do you sell hair? Are you making um, soap and cream? What do you do? Do you have um, a marketing business? What do you do, right? So if you just, um, would you prefer to speak? Let me look for your, let me see. Let me look for your. Hi everyone. Yes, okay. Hi Deborah. Okay, good evening. So I really understand all of this. And I've spoken okay. to um, Mrs. Strima one time about BMC and I went to sit down and I actually wrote some things down. Okay, so my brand is Caramel Naturals and we offer hair and skincare solution by using plant based ingredients. It's like a natural brand. That's like the general idea. So we cater for the needs of mainly young women. And we are currently in Abia State and Lagos State. But my question is, how can I really, 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 really practice this? For now, I don't know. I don't really have partners, except if I'll just list, okay, maybe my delivery people and some other maybe my raw material suppliers as that part, then how will I really know how to like plan this? Like I've, I've sat down to plan my BMC before, but like, it's just like, it's not working. So I don't know if this thing, if there's a way it can come down to like a small business level. Like actually, I don't really know like the general amount I make. I just know an estimate because it varies like this month she might make this amount, this month she might make this amount. So in that part that she was like, the amount you expected to be making, I don't know. And some other questions, Sha, that I have in my mind. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> you should actually ask those questions you have in your mind so we could see how we could tackle it. Okay, um, so first of all, please, uh, before she even takes the time to answer this, I want to ask you to make sure you tune in for tomorrow's session, right? Make sure you tune in for tomorrow. I will. Okay, great. I will. Okay. So now, um, I'll let you Dima say something, right? But you see this corner here that has key activities, right? Yes. Very, very summarized. But go as far as right down on Monday, every Monday, every Tuesday, like every Wednesday, I do this, right? So if you take your time to actively plot out your daily activities, you find that you are progressing. Then something I realized that people make mistakes in as well is not deciding what success means for their business. Do you understand what I'm saying? If you know what it means to be, to be successful, what does success look like? You see the part on the right where she talks about customer relationships, customers. Yeah. Add numbers to it. Find out, Find out exactly what success would mean for you. Would you want your business, your, your product, inside a distributor in shop right? For example, yeah. go that far in detailing out your customer relationships. I want people to walk into a shop right store. 
by 2022 and by what's the name of the what's the name of the caramel naturals caramel naturals let people be able to walk in caramel naturals let people be able to walk into a shop right store by 2022 to pick these products up if it's not shop right look for casabella do you understand what i mean now yeah you the people that that you want key partners potentially by 2022 will be casabella do you understand what i mean now what are all yes. that you need to do to make that happen you need to walk in, that's, that's, yeah. you need to walk into you need to walk into a casabella store find out what casabella wants before they can buy your product then when you know what Casabella wants from you to carry your product, you take that as your daily activities. Daily activity, you break that down. They want a packaging of this standard. They want this, 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 this. Then you start from the beginning. Tomorrow, I'm going to take a very short um, session on strategy and then explain a few of these things in a more broken down level. This, do you understand what I mean? But regardless of that... I'll yes, I understand. I'll let you do my speak. Um, I'll let you do my speak. I'm hoping it will be clearer to you. Actually, I'm sorry for the, um, just uh, take your time. If this is not the no, it's fine. Great, right? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear yes, you. Yes, I can. Okay, okay. Okay, Deborah, I think Kate has answered your question. But just to add, um, what I was thinking, in, uh, for you to add what i do this is me is that at the end of the, doing this business model canvas uh, we go to excel okay I, I, you're still a small team but we have like a bigger team so what we do we go to excel and we assign or, or you can use a project management um software not software like trello trello there's one i just started using gantt templates on you know and we assign the uh, roles to everyone from the beginning of the year to the end of the year or you could do it quarterly so it's like we we'll finish having a team meeting and everybody's assigned a specific role so you are handling finance you are handling this you are handling you you know everybody has a specific role it's that important do you know it's so it's so important for you to to do a day to to do this because it helps you with your schedule in a day you can wake up in the morning and put on your app or put on put your app and see what your your deliverables are so your this is basically what it means to get going to the office every day you might not be going into a physical office you might just be going into your own virtual office but you have deliverables to do every single day every of your sales even if you don't have an official bank account which you should have an official bank account for your business every of your sales should be recorded our our parents that had small petty shops they were so detailed in recording their sales and their expenses they had this brand brown book that they you know where they record every sales that came in at the end of the month they were able to calculate oh i sold so i sold sugar i sold biscuits i sold this i sold this i sold this i bought it at so so amount of price and i sold this at this this is the profit that i made but for you it could be different for you you could record your sales record your expenses as well even if you need to do it on an app like we encourage you to use an app even if you can't make sure you're recording it on a, a on a book that is separate so that at, at the end of the week or monthly you can transpire into an accounting app that is free you can use wave wave is sme friendly and free so you can use it and impute it these things are so important that you start them at an early stage so that when you grow because you will grow except if you are not ready for growth you will need to present your books you will need to see how far you've gone investors want to see your numbers they want to see oh when you were doing 50 this is how well documented that you were and it's not so you don't really need a big thing for this but even as you are you might now find out that oh i need somebody i need an admin i need somebody that can come in and do this i can i'm not able to handle all of this we should not advise you to say oh i need one more person in my key resource department i need maybe a bigger office space i need you know i need to have like a navdac number this is why we said certification and licenses here you know you just it just it just every time you look at your business every time you 
one of the good things about business model canvas is that every time you look at your business, you are able, every time you think about the things that you do, it increases. Every time you speak to maybe somebody about it and you go back and you go back, it it becomes better. Which is why a business model can it might not make sense to you now, but it makes sense to you eventually and you have to be consistent with it. I understand everything you okay. said. I'll I'll try to do. I I record like everything, like the sales, the expenses. Okay. 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 Things that come up, probably things that go bad that we have to like replace and all of that. I try to like document them. Okay. The machines we buy and all of okay. that. So I'll try to okay. check out the rate app and see what it's like, so that I can have more. As yes. A, I can have it documented down in a very detailed manner. Yes, you should. And if you have any questions about it, you should just ask me. You can ask me later, and then I'll I'll, I'll take you through through them. It's really you. This is just really important. That what about strategies? That after strategy, you need to put in. Okay, after your plan and strategy, you need to put in tactics. You need to put in the work. Your day. To, you need to break it down into day to day or monthly targets and day to day targets. So. So it, it it it's not something you 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 put on paper and then move move away from.